and college graduates. There's our college graduates data. By the way, there's a lot of preset data sets. Sometimes uh, in the homework I might have you click on one of these that are preset data sets. So 0.275 is the college graduate data. Again, I want a sample size of 10. Okay. Now, let's see what happens when I start taking random samples. So if I take one random sample, my first random sample, I got a proportion of 0 0.100. See how far off it is from the original population proportion? Remember, random samples are not the same as the population proportion. We're seeing sampling variability there. And then they put 0 0.10 like a magnet on the board over here. If I take another random sample, my second random sample is 0 0.400. Notice very off from the population and they put the magnet 0 0.40 over here on the board. Okay, and we're just going to kind of keep taking random samples and see what happens. I like just pushing the thousand samples button. Now, what do you see about this? It doesn't look quite as normal as I would like. Um, you're seeing still a little bit of a skew on the right tail, a little bit of a skew right. This is not as normal as I would like, and that means, again, that the mean of all the proportions, while being close to this 0.275 population value, is not, again, I'm kind of a little bit concerned with the accuracy of that number because of the shape of this sampling distribution. I need this to look more normal. Here's the standard error, 0.142. So remember that one of the key ideas in this is more data decreases the error. So I need to increase the sample size. Taking samples of just 10 flips of the, uh, sorry, 10 students uh, and seeing how many graduate um, is not enough. I'm not getting a, a normal sampling distribution here. Okay, I need, I need it to be uh, a little larger. So let's try something else. Like what if I did... Uh, what if I did a hundred? What if I look at a, a sample size of a hundred? Will a sample size of a hundred work? Let's see. Oh yeah, see that looks very normal, very bell-shaped, right? Notice how my standard error dropped dramatically. So it's went all the way down to 0 0.045. Now remember um, Categorical data doesn't have a shape, so you're not going to see a shape over here in the population because it's from categorical data. But when I put lots and lots of sample proportions on the same graph, that does have a shape. And we do want that shape to be normal. So one of the key things in sampling distributions is when is the sampling distribution normal and when is it not? We saw that a sample size of 10 was not very normal, but a sample size of 100 was. So one of the things that we'll talk about in our next video is um, when uh, something called the central limit theorem, which gives us some guidelines of knowing when this sampling distribution is going to be normal. And again, that kind of flows into a lot of the other calculations we do. All right. So I, I hope this was useful for you. This has been sampling distributions and using technology using StatKey. This is Matt Tuchot and Intro Stats, and I'll see you next time.